It is a, a room basically um, for the kids. Um, they are managed. It, the room is also managed by the kids. Uh, you have the, the chairperson, you have the secretary, and then also there's a treasurer. And then also very importantly, the principal, myself, and uh, also uh, Mr. Rajalin, one of the teachers, um, we also had to, to play a part in, in establishing the room, which is a very, very unique and uh, very interesting concept. Um, but this is a concept that we really felt we needed in our school for our kids because they are exposed to gangsterism, substance abuse, uh, neglect of the highest order, poverty. Um, so it, it is actually um, a way for them to express themselves and to get away from that nightmare and the horror of it that they experience on a daily basis. Uh, uh, they are expressing themselves and it's also um, a way to deal with the trauma that they also experience uh, every day. But also most importantly there is a resident artist um, in our case, we got Mr. Kalia. Mr. Kalia. <laughs> and I see a lot of myself in him too. I mean, he's really artistic. I mean, when they have annual exhibitions with uh, Joburg and stuff, many of his works are always selected like works. The room certainly helps them to do what they can do best. And, and you, you will see that the children that go as a mission gives them their chance at least to, to be with people, to belong. I'm going to say I love art working. It's my life. I love art. That's why I want to become an artist one day. Because I love to do it in class when I'm done with my work. Even though it was a benefit to the kids, they found as artists mm. it was a big benefit to them. Because they're like, what are you doing? Oh, I'm doing this. Oh, what is your theme for next year? They loved it. They absolutely loved it. The kids, they found out that there's more to art than just putting, like Kay said, mm. paint to paper.